Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let's take a look into high level requirements for building our blog application. Well, consider after having a brief discussion with our client, here are the high level requirements. We are going to build basically client side and admin side. At a client side, here are the features that we are going to build. Well, we are going to allow blog readers to view a list of blog posts and blog readers can search a blog post and blog readers can add a comment to a particular blog post and guest users can register to our blog application and guest user can log into our blog application. All right, so these are the features that we are going to build at a client side. And here are the features that we are going to build at a admin side. Guest user can manage his created blog post. It means guest user can create a new blog post. Guest user can edit existing blog post. Guest user can delete the existing blog post. Guest user can view the existing blog post and guest user can also search the blog post. And guest user can manage the comments on his created blog post like guest user can view all the comments on his created blog post and guest user can also delete the comments on his created blog post and guest user can log out from the blog application and admin user can manage all the guest users blog posts as well as comments so these are the admin side features that we need to implement in our blog application okay now let's take a look into the tools and technologies that we are going to use to build our blog web application well we are going to use java 17 and Spring Boot 3. Well, we are going to use the latest version of Spring Boot that is Spring Boot 3. Okay, and we are going to use Spring Framework 6. Well, in this course, we are going to use Spring MUC and Spring Security modules. And we are going to use Thymleap to develop the view layer. And we are going to use Bootstrap CSS5 framework to style our HTML pages. And we are going to use Spring Data GPA to develop the repository layer or persistence layer in our blog web application. And we are going to use MySQL database as a database. And next, we are going to use Marvin as a build and dependency management tool. And we're going to use IntelliJ IDEA to build this blog web application. And next, we use AWS Cloud to deploy our blog web application. All right. So we are going to use these latest and trending technologies tools to build our blog web application. All right. Great. I will see you in the next lecture.